Hey guys, what's up? It's the Electrical Code Coach here. This is the Electricians in Action, where we get together and we talk about the code every day before we go out and fight the good fight. I want to encourage you today. Stay strong. Keep pushing. Let's get to it. All right, guys. So yesterday we learned about the areas that the two or more small appliance circuits shall serve. That means they are required to serve it. And we learned a little bit about it. And today we're going to talk about one of the exceptions. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So when you're doing normal wiring in a nook, pantry, kitchen, dining room, you know, refrigerator, all of those in the normal area, you are only allowed to use 12 gauge wire 20 amp circuit. Now you can run multiple variations of this and I dropped a very, uh, hopefully very clear video yesterday so you guys can go back and watch it about around where you're allowed to run it and why. But today I want to talk about an exception that's in the code. Now the code states that you're not allowed to run anything but 20 amp circuits in those areas and they're only allowed to service those areas except and that's why we call it the national exception code and not the national electric code you know for nec national exception code so there is an exception in the code and we're going to talk about that now all right so we find ourselves in 210.52 b1 in exception 2 remember it's called the national exception code so let's say we're on the left hand side of this kitchen and we want to put a dedicated appliance this kitchen aid right here and we want to you know make it dedicated whether it's underneath the cabinet above the cabinet whatever it is are we required to run a 20 amp circuit to it and the answer is no the code actually allows in this exception that you are allowed to run a 15 amp circuit to a dedicated appliance so if it's a dedicated appliance and you've met all of all of your other amperage requirements meaning that your wire is going to be uh, sized correctly by using 14 gauge wire and your overcurrent will be sized correctly by using uh, 15 amps then you're allowed to run a 15 amp circuit for any dedicated appliance same thing over here in this dining room if you wanted to run a dedicated you know coffee machine or anything coffee bar whatever that is you know for each individual appliance you could run a 15 amp circuit no problem same thing it actually allows you to do the refrigerator in the same way if you literally want to run a dedicated 15 amp circuit for your refrigerator and have no other outlets whether either any of these things can be hardwired or cord and plug connected as long as it's not serving any other outlets the code actually allows you to run a 15 amp circuit but remember it has to be 15 amps 14 gauge wire and make sure you meet all of your other other overcurrent and um and passity when you're sizing your wire the one thing that i'm going to want to see if i was the inspector your inspector is likely going to want to see is a single 15 amp receptacle that lets us know that at one time you're not going to be plugging in more than one device on that circuit more than one 15 amp device on that circuit that's kind of another fail safe i'm not going to want to see a duplex there or any other situation and if it's hardwired it's not something that we have to worry about so this is just something that i want you guys to know you may never use this i don't run uh 14 gauge wire unless i'm extending an existing circuit but you guys may run it there's nothing wrong with running it as long as it's protected by a 15 amp breaker and it's 14 gauge wire i hope you guys have a great day i am the electrical code coach let's go ahead and get to it Thank you.